what do you think happened to Neanderthals? What what did we cheeky humans do to the Neanderthals, hum, Homo sapiens? Do you think we murdered them? Was it <laughs> the, how do we murder them? How do we outcompete them? Um, or do or do we outmate I, them? I don't know. I mean, I, I I think there's unequivocal evidence that we mated with them. Yeah, we always try to mate with everything. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> There's some interesting, the, the first sequences that came along were in mitochondrial DNA. Um, and that was back to about 2002 or thereabouts. Uh, and, and, and what was found was that Neanderthal mitochondrial DNA was very different to human mitochondrial DNA. Oh, that's DNA. so interesting. And you could do a clock on it, and it, it said the divergent state was about 600,000 years ago or something like that, so not so long ago. Um, and then the first full genomes were sequenced, maybe 10 years after that. Um, and, and they showed plenty of signs of mating between. So, so the, the mitochondrial DNA effectively says no mating. <laughs> and the, the nuclear uh, genes say, yeah, lots of mating. Um, but we don't How's know- that possible? Uh, so can you explain the difference between mitochondrial Sorry, DNA yes. and nu uh, uh, nucleus? I've talked before about the mitochondria, which are the power packs in cells. These are the paired down control units is, the, right. is their DNA. So it's passed on by the mother only uh, and in the egg cell, we might have half a million copies of mitochondrial DNA. There's only 37 genes left, uh, and and they do a, 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 a it's basically the control unit of energy production. That's what it's that's what it's doing. It's a basic old school machine that does. Energy and it's got production. genes that were considered to be effectively trivial because they did a they did a, a a very narrowly defined job. But they're not trivial in the sense that that narrowly defined job is about <laughs> everything that is being alive. Yeah. Um, so. So they're much easier to sequence. You've got many more copies of these things, and you can sequence them very quickly. Um, but the problem is, because they go down only the maternal line from mother to daughter, your mitochondrial DNA and mine is going nowhere. doesn't matter. Any kids we have, they get their mother's mitochondrial DNA, um, except in very, very rare and strange circumstances. Um, and, and so it tells a different story, and it's not a story which is easy to reconcile always. Um, and, and what it seems to suggest, to my mind at least, is that there was one way uh, traffic of genes, probably going from humans into Neanderthals rather than the other way around. Wow. Why did the Neanderthals disappear? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I suspect that they were, I suspect they were probably less violent, less clever, uh, less populous, less willing to fight i i don't know i mean i, I think and it's it probably drove them to extinction at the margins of europe <laughs> and it's interesting how much if we ran earth over and over again how many of these branches of intelligent beings that have figured out some kind of um how to leverage collective intelligence which ones of them emerge which ones of them succeed is it the more violent ones is it um uh, the more isolated one, you know, like yeah. what, what dynamics result in more productivity. And we, I, I suppose we'll never know. It's it, The more complex the organism, the harder it is to run the experiment in the lab. Yes. And in some respects, maybe it's best if we don't know. Yeah. The truth might be very painful. <laughs>